In today's episode, you will learn how to use the Max 471 bidirectional high side current sense amplifier with Arduino for measuring the DC current. We will measure the current of a 12 volt DC MC PCB LED module. We will display the current value on the serial monitor and later we will modify the code and circuit connections to display the current value on the 16 into 2 LCD. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create high quality PCBs at reasonable prices. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, MEX 471 pinout and technical specifications. Number two, complete circuit diagram. Number three, MEX 471 interfacing with Arduino. Number four, MEX 471 Arduino programming. And finally, number five, testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the Max 471 bi-directional high side current sense amplifier breakout board. This IC can take any input voltage of 3 to 36 volts. It can measure up to plus minus 3 amps. Inside the IC, there is a sensing resistor and it's across these two terminals. This resistor is a very low value. It's 35 milliohms. So if we apply our plus voltage supply to one side of the resistor and another side of the resistor we feed to our load, then the current flowing through the resistor will be the same current flowing through our load. Now the MEX471 takes the voltage drop across the resistor and it calculates the current and that's the current flowing through our load. As you can see the MEX471 breakout board has a total of 6 headers which are clearly labeled as number 1 RS minus pin which is the negative side of the sensing resistor. Number two, ground pin. Number three, sign pin. The sign pin will actually tell which way the current is flowing. In battery powered operation, it actually gives us an indication of discharge and charging feature. Number four, out pin. This is the voltage output pin. So we will get a voltage output of one volt per amp and we can feed that into an analog to digital converter or our Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano and we could actually calculate the current through a load. So it is very simple. The voltage out is actually the current through the load. Number five, ground pin. It's the same as the other ground pin. And finally, number six, RS plus pin, which is the positive side of the sensing resistor. As you can see, the circuit diagram is very simple. The positive voltage wire of the power supply is connected with the RS plus terminal, while the ground wire of the power supply is connected with the ground pins of the MAX471 and Arduino board. The positive voltage wire of the DC load is connected with the RS minus pin of the MAX471, while the ground wire of the load will be connected with the ground pin of the MAX47 module. The out pin of the MAX471 is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A1. Now we will do the soldering and interfacing.
as you can see a DC female power jack is soldered with the plus and ground of the MC PCB DC 12 volt LED bulb. To connect this LED module with MAX471 module, cut the voltage wire. Connect the voltage wire coming from the power supply with the RS plus terminal of the MAX471 and the other wire with the RS minus terminal of the MAX471. So now as you can see the positive wire from the DC female power jack is connected with the RS plus terminal of the MAX471 and the positive wire from the LED module is connected with the RS minus terminal of the MAX471 module. Finally, I connected a wire from the power supply ground with the ground pin of the MAX471. The red wire is connected with the out pin which is connected with the analog pin one of the Arduino. While the ground pin of the MAX471 is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino. This program can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. The purpose of this program is to read the out pin of the MAX471 module and display the current value on the serial monitor. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. display the current value on the 16 into 2 LCD. This is the modified circuit diagram. As you can see the MAX471 module connection with the Arduino remains the same. This time I added the 16 into 2 LCD. Pin number 1 and pin number 16 are connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 2 and pin number 15 are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. Pin number 3 is the contrast pin of the 16 into LCD and is connected with the metal leg of the variable resistor or potentiometer. While the other two legs of the variable resistor are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground. The RS pin of the LCD is connected with the Arduino's pin number 10 and the read write pin is connected with the ground. The enable pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 9. The data pins D4 to D7 of the LCD are connected with the Arduino pin number 6, 5, 4 and 3. For the easy interfacing, I designed a PCB for the 16 into 2 LCD. This PCB board is manufactured by the PCBWay company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear. The Blake solder mask looks amazing. I am 100% satisfied with their work. This is how the PCB board looks after soldering. Now I am going to interface the LCD module with the Arduino as per the circuit diagram already explained.
this is the same exact program this time I added the liquid crystal library and defined pins for the 16 into LCD the RS pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 10 the enable pin of the LCD module is connected with the Arduino pin number 9 while the data pins D4 to D7 are connected with the Arduino pin number 6 5 4 and 3 and finally I added these instructions for displaying the current value on the 16 into 2 LCD so that's all about the programming the circuit diagrams and programs can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com you can find a link in the description I have already uploaded this program let's watch this project in action support me on patreon for more videos I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.